morning. We're going to do a quick breakfast right here. Um, I started rehydrating the mixture that I showed earlier. This is our scrambled egg mixture, which has mushrooms, onions, and sweet bell peppers in it. So that is going. I'm going to mix up some eggs. And I... I really never take fresh eggs when we go camping. It's just too much of a hassle. So, unless we need them for a special reason. So this is about two eggs worth. And I'm gonna do another one, about three eggs worth. And then an equal amount of water. And so this is what the mixture looks like. Looks like just like eggs. Them to the mix. And some cheese. I'm married to someone who loves cheese. And then we have here three English muffins. These are homemade English muffins and we did a video on that and our other channel if you want the recipe. Now, we are going to take this out to the flat top and we're going to fix some muffin breakfast sandwiches. I'm going to use the same little muffin rings that I used to make the um, English muffins in the first place. Got some Canadian bacon going right here that's just the right size. Okay, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. Put this down. You looking for the plate? Yeah. Thank you. Now we're adding the egg layer. Well, I could have been more careful with that. Aren't these pretty? Those look nice. Breakfast sandwiches. All right, in the house we go for breakfast. There it is. We have a full rainbow over Bryce Canyon. Looks fantastic. We thought you'd enjoy seeing that. And, uh, I know we're enjoying seeing it. So today is my birthday and Jim is fixing Mongolian barbecued ribs for me out on the griddle. So I'm excited about that and I'm in here going to put together our potato salad. And this is a green salad that I uh, put together before we left the house and just put in this plastic bag. We'll eat this several times. So it's going to be tricky getting this potato salad ready. So I'm just going to start with um, a little bit of water at a time and see how this works. Okay, that's a little too wet. I'm hoping some of those ingredients are still dry and they will soak up that water. So we'll come back to this. So let's go check on Jim out at the grill. So it's smelling pretty good out here. I'm working on it. So do you want to share your famous secret recipe with oh, everybody? Absolutely, if I remember it. 
So this is PF Chang's uh, Mongolian barbecue sauce. And what we did was we ended up cutting up about three pounds of ribs. And we ended up pouring half a bottle of the Mongolian sauce into a uh, plastic bag, done it, done it. Um, mixed it up real well, put it in the refrigerator overnight. And the next day we ended up putting it in the uh, slow cooker for about five or six hours. And it's been in a bag since then. Right now we just put the uh, ribs in a container, a bowl, got them all slicked up again, and again it's about half a uh, bottle of Mongolian sauce by P.F. Chang's. And what we're doing is we're just warming everything up since they're already done for all practical purposes. And hopefully they'll turn out okay. But... So essentially they're already cooked. Yeah. And you're just crystallizing the sauce crystallizing on them. Crystallizing the sauce, yeah. I thought I said already cooked, but thank you for reminding me of that. Oh, honey, they smell fantastic. Oh, I hope you're, just, hope you're not just saying that, because I can't smell them. <laughs> and your the griddle is at what temperature? That's what I was going to check real quick. 354, 350 city. Okay. I'm going to go back in and check the potato salad. Okay, and I'm going to need something to put these oh, in. Oh, I'll bring you out a plate. Okay, thank you. Oh, well, good morning. I'm about to fix breakfast here. This is what we have going today. We've got a new brand of bacon, which didn't turn out to be so good. It kind of pulls apart, so we're going to have little bacon pieces. This is some of our dried eggs, freeze-dried and then powdered eggs, to which I have added some cheese and some salsa for ranch eggs today, so I'm going to stir that up just a little bit. We'll get that on the flat top in just a minute. And then here we have some of our freeze-dried hash browns that I have reconstituted just in the bin that I brought them in. So I'll be draining those and getting those on the griddle. So we'll be back when everything is on the flat top and you can kind of see what happens then. So hash browns here, you let them cook on one side for seven or eight minutes to get that good crust on it. Before you turn them, the bacon is ridiculous. We'll never get this brand again. So it's nearly done and I'm ready to put the eggs on. So here go the eggs. These are ranch eggs. And I've been monitoring the temperature of the grip of the flat top pretty closely with our infrared thermometer. Don't want it to be too hot where we put the eggs. About 375, so that's about right. All right, well, I'll see you in the house for breakfast. Coming up soon. So this is what Pam's breakfast looks like. That's mine, I assume. And that is Pam's. So we and have hash browns, ranch eggs, some bacon pieces, and some lovely summer fruit. So we're set for a good foundation for our day of, uh, we're taking our four. We are gearing up for a trail ride. We've got thunder clouds. Every afternoon it does this, and it only rains about 30% of the time. So we think we're okay. We're going to do just a short ride right now. I uh, wanted to show you these. This is a cover that we keep over the machines. I just took it off. And, of course, we wear helmets. I'm packing a bunch of snacks for us. And uh, these, this is our trunk. We have... We have emergency things in here and rain gear, and sometimes we'll pack meals, lunches, and things. But today our ride, our planned ride, is just going to be a couple of hours, so it shouldn't be too long. And uh, we both wear helmets, and I have put on sunscreen since I'm really susceptible to burning. And uh, so we're going to head out here. This will be the first time that we do any videoing while on our machines. And so... Forgive our novice attempts at doing trail videos as we go. Oh, 
there goes Tim. There goes me. So when we come to places like this in a row, Jim and I love to have this little competition to see which of us can do the high mark. So Jim is down there ready and he's going to come along and there are, I believe, three of these. So we're going to watch him do all three. Here he comes. So he did too. I think that third one came too soon. So now he's going to come back and video me while I do all three, or maybe two. Okay. Okay, here comes Pam. And she's riding up, and it looks like she's going to do the same switch bank that I did, except it isn't a switch bank. But, oh, fantastic. There's one. There's another one right up there. You can hardly see it. Oh, fantastic. We used to do this at Coral Pink Sand Dunes. All right, this is a little rest stop and we both have helmet hair. <laughs> so there is the road ahead. Jim, I had forgotten how much fun these trails are. My They're, gosh, this is so much fun. It's been a long time since we've done this. I know, and those little high water things that we did yeah. back there. Who got the high mark, you or me? I have no idea. I didn't worry about that. I just worried about being able to go over it. <laughs> I always worry about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> oh well. I guess we'll see when we edit the video, if we can yep. tell. But there were only two. I thought there were three, but there were really there, only there was, two. There are only two that have been used a lot. The third one has been used for a little, and I, it wasn't much of one at all. No, it wasn't. I didn't want to disturb the vegetation that had started is, is to grow. <laughs> <laughs> Great rationalization. <laughs> so we're going to head down this trail and um, we just realized that each one of us thought the other one had the maps. We know this place pretty well so I think we'll be okay today but tomorrow when we go we're going to need the maps. We're going to head down this trail. It will intersect with sort of a main drive and then we'll turn south and go down to a lake. And so that probably will be our excursion for the day. We've been out for already, what, an, an hour, Jim? An hour and a half, probably. About an hour and a half. So, and I don't hear any thunder yet. A little bit. It's kind of rolling very, very <laughs> gently, quietly, not to wake you up or anything like that. Okay, so here we are, and we are having so much fun. And um, hope to see you on the trail. Wave at us if you see us. We just passed a couple people, and everybody waves. But it would be fun to see some of you on the trail. So onward and... Onward. Onward and onward. Okay. So here is the lake. And we're up on the bank of the road. There's a way to get down to a little campground down there, but we're going to bypass that for today. It's getting kind of late, and we're, what, Jim, an hour and a half from camp? At least an hour and a half, okay. maybe longer. So we better head back yeah, head after back. this. Yeah. Okay, so we just wanted you to see the lake. Um, it's just beautiful here. There is, I guess we passed that eagle's nest, didn't we? Eagles nest along here in late spring, early summer. And about five years ago, let's see if I can turn this around. Okay, it we can see I, each other? I, I, yeah, oh, what really? a concept. Oh, yeah, concept, I can't even see us. <laughs> no, the screen isn't on for oh, some reason. Oh. I don't know how to figure that out yet. Oh, okay. I'm hoping you can see us, but do you remember about five or six years ago when we were here and we saw that Bald eagle, Bald eagle. Yeah. and a little fledgling. Yeah, and was teaching how to fly into the, I don't know if it's teaching, but whatever it was doing. Yeah, we saw it three or four times while yeah. we were here. That was pretty fun. So anyway, beautiful, beautiful scenery. This is Jim. I guess I'm here. But what we were looking at was coming back and getting a better view of the lake. And that doesn't give you much of a view. So I'm going to go over here and get hopefully a better view 
of the lake right down through here. And like all the lakes where we are, the uh, drought has really helped recede the uh, shoreline and those kinds of things. So here's a better view. It's a good sized lake. It's mostly clear, which is great. We've got a campground over there. But I thought I'd just go ahead and give you an idea as to what it looks like from this end of things. Okay, we'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.